when things are happening in the wrong direction, it's the adversary at work. We need to realize that there are greater lessons to be learned during trying periods or times of brokenness. Probably our strength is not enough, and God needs us to know that we can depend on Him. Even though the adversary may try to damage that picture that is your life, God is making something beautiful out of it, a masterpiece that the world is yet to see. And all those tiny blotches that seem to be marrying your life at this point and making life unbearable for you are all part of the big picture. God makes His move and remember that your life is in His hands. With Him, you are safe. And no matter what life throws at you, you would come out a champion and stand victorious. Sometimes we only want to receive God at our comfort. You want things to go our way, but it doesn't happen that way. You will not always get a job after college immediately. You will not always have a child the moment you get married. Things that you once took for granted might become serious challenges in your life. Consider this your trying moment. They are light afflictions working out a far greater weight of glory for you. Open your heart to the message your situation is teaching you. Some problems are there to strengthen us, to help us develop grit, to build and prepare us for a greater and better future. David went through a lot of challenges before he became king, but all of that was a kind of preparation towards becoming the king over the land of Israel. Joseph went through tough moments, but he had a beautiful ending. Look beyond the current situation that you are facing and begin to see by faith the beauty that lies ahead of you. See the wonders that God wants to make of your life. Maybe you cannot help feeling depressed. You feel like no one understands. It is okay to feel tired, sad, and weak, but don't give up. Sometimes things are happening so quick that we might be overwhelmed. We find ourselves unprepared for such events. We believe greatly in God, and so we do not expect things occur in our lives. No one wants to go through the rough and tough phase. Maybe people around you cannot comprehend the whole line. They do not understand, but God does, and everything is working all together for your good. God's plan is like a picture book. Each colorful picture shows you at different stages of your life, even those difficult moments. He knows what will be happening in your life right this minute as well as your growing stages. He has your life planned out and you can never miss his plan. A writer once said, God in heaven sees your life as a long parade. You are limited and can only see what is in front of you and what has passed behind you. You cannot see around the corner. That is why you feel much more frustrated, tired, and sad. But God can. He is above looking right at you and can see the whole lineup in front of you. Why not stay focused and keep trusting God to change that situation, to heal you and help you? Trust Him completely to stay in line. God in His awesomeness will be moved. He has the power to meet you on that wrong route and direct you to the right path. You have been fashioned and designed to be great. He has equipped you in a special way, different from the next person to you. He will help you. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 13 says, For I the Lord your God will hold your right hand, saying to you, Fear not, I will help you. God is never a liar, and He will come through for you. He will help you get through that situation and bring you on the other side. You will see mountains moving and things working in your favor. Every storm that has been raging will cease and peace will be restored. God is not sleeping on your case. He is working to make something beautiful, to turn your mess into a message and your horrors into honor. You are God's perfect creation. 
Trust him to do the great things he has purpose for you. Don't let the devil let you lose the opportunity God's bringing your way. The Bible tells us to rejoice always in Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16. Anticipate God's blessings and fulfillment of His words to increase you, make you flourish, heal you in mind, spirit, and body. His plans are for you and yours alone. God knows you better than you know yourself. You will always be a special design with a special plan. Stay tuned and connected with your Father in heaven, for His plan will put more than a smile on that beautiful face. Do not give up. He is about to do something that will blow your mind. No sickness shall befall your family, and if there is anyone that has been suffering from an illness, the Lord is about to restore good health to them. The blessings of the Lord will be so profound that you will be a blessing to others. Restoration means the ability to regain something that has been lost, and because the Lord has said He will restore your blessings, whatever has taken away the peace and joy of your family, the Lord shall restore it in double folds. This is the season of jubilation and merriment in your family in the name of Jesus. If people mocked you because of your present situation, the Lord will restore your blessings. Wherever you go, the favor of the Lord will go before you. You will find favor with man and with God. Every job opportunity you have missed, you will get a better one. That You will be grateful you missed the previous one. You will grow from grace to grace and from strength to strength. Every disappointment in your life will become a blessing. Your mates may have gone ahead of you, but because the Lord has promised you restoration, you will overtake in the name of Jesus. The blessings of the Lord will never depart from you. The Bible says that when a man's way is right before God, then he will cause even his enemies to be at peace with him. And your enemies will be at peace with you because the blessings of the Lord will be so evident in your life. You will never lack. You may have been living in want, but that is about to change. Because all those years you had to go through lack, the Lord will restore them back with abundant blessings in the name of Jesus. You may have been battling with one situation or the other. It could be an illness. Can you remember the man blind from birth? All his life, he had to live with that every day. But when his day of restoration came, God blessed him with good sight. It does not take God anything to change the entire life of a man in a day. So do not think that your situation is too big because you have a big God. The one that sees the end from the beginning, the Lion of the tribe of Judea, the bright and morning star. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. There is absolutely nothing too difficult for him to do. The doctors may have said, your illness is incurable, but the Lord is going to break protocol in your behalf. Always put your trust in God because he is capable and what is difficult for him does not exist. The Lord will lift you and bless you beyond your wildest imagination. There are so many people in the Bible that went through a lot, but when their time of restoration came, the Lord blessed them abundantly. Let's take for example the story of Job. Job was a man that feared the Lord with all his heart. It was recorded that he was a very wealthy man, but something terrible happened. Job lost all he had his cattle, his property, his children, and he was also inflicted with an illness. Job's world crumbled in a day, but he did not compromise in faith with God. There was nothing left, but he still trusted God. People around him advised him to curse God and die, including his wife, but Job held on to God. And when God decided to bless him, he restored all he had in double folds. Nothing should make you give up on God because it always pays to serve God and those who put their trust on the Lord will never be put to shame. Just the way the Lord restored everything that Job had lost, 
He will restore all you have lost in the name of Jesus.